Are you looking for a lightly used, well cared for little weekend cruiser for you and maybe you and a guest? Then come with me as we do a walk around tour on this 2006 Bayliner 245 Express Cruiser. She's well powered with a Merc Cruiser 220 horsepower. Engine, Alpha One Drive. She's economical to operate. Some great features on this boat is the hard Macrolon enclosure for the cockpit. And then down below, she's set up with a galley and room to sleep for people. So come with me for a walkthrough tour on this sweet little boat here at South Mountain Yachts. We start off here at the starboard bow on this 24 foot Bayliner cruiser. We can see we've got a nice anchor right there. Room on the deck for a nice cushion. We've got aggressive non-skid decking throughout. So when at rest, it's nice and easy to come get a pad and lay out here. Notice these big slash windows Bayliner was famous for. Coming down along the side, we see we've got that Taylor curved tinted windshield for a sleek look. A big plus on this vessel is this full camper back enclosure. It's the hard Macrolon along the front and sides with roll up windows in the back. There's our Bayliner badge right there, the 245. Here at the transom, we've got a molded in swim step and our shore power connections also. She's well powered with Merc Cruiser 220 horsepower and an Alpha One Outdrive. Stepping on board, we see we've got grab handles all around and there's a boarding ladder under the swim step. We enter the vessel through this starboard door and immediately we see we've got a transom seat which folds up to be used as a combing pad. There's also a cocktail table that goes here. We see cockpit carpet and then our transom shower right there. This lounger seat can face either direction and underneath we've got storage there for life jackets and just stuff. Moving forward we see we've got storage right here with our battery switch and then this is what I call LLI ladies <laughs> like it feature a port side lounger that can face either fore or aft. Circling here, we've got our helm seat. At the helm, we've got a padded tilt steering, all of our rocker switches down below, a Navman GPS system, VHF radio, 12 volt outlet, charge your phone, all of our gauges here, including depth sounder. Ahead of us we have our two inch Danforth compass. This is a view from the helm right here. Access to the bow is nice and easy. Up the steps through the center line to the fort. Engine access is nice and easy. We can even keep the table up. All we do is make sure that door is closed. And then lift the hatch, which is on nice gas assisted shocks. There's our engine compartment right in front of us. Hot water heater off to port, along with our dual batteries. Bilge is nice and clean and the engine appears to have been well cared for. We enter the cabin through this bifold door and down a few steps. Immediately to port, 
we have our AC power panel right there, stereo, and galley. We've got cabinet storage here, more storage here, refrigerator down below, and a safety grab rail right there. We've got some shelf storage above, stainless steel sink, hot and cold pressurized water, single burner alcohol electric stove, and our microwave. Notice the cabin, how bright it is with those slash windows. Moving forward, we see we have a nice seating area, which also becomes a sleeper area that fills in. Headroom right here is over six feet. We've got nice curtains there. Bay liners have had some upgrades in, at this year. We've got a nice upgraded vinyl, vinyl walls, and just some nice touches. As we circle around, we have our fully lined fiberglass head here, marine toilet, pull out RV shower, and storage underneath. There's a drain in the floor and we also have a nice little opening port light, towel rack, and a mirror right there. As we circle aft, Bayliner's done a nice job of hiding the trash right there and then under this step here there's storage. Moving aft, we have our double wide full beam mid cabin great place to sleep got padded headboard right there with some storage and then that gives us an idea of just how deep it is this 2006 245 bay liner has low use on it it's neat clean odor free priced right viewer today owner tomorrow at south mountain yachts